Welcome to the IQ Check Prep Protocol Training. Let's get started. Here is a deep well plate containing the samples I want to test. You'll notice there's a handy barcode on the side that allows the robot to understand which plate it's working with. I've used the CFX manager to load in the locations of my samples onto the plate map. Now we have to tell the robot what to do. So now open up the file. The great thing about using the robot is it gives you indications about what reagents and what samples to add in what locations. It's really easy. Let's choose our file. It's going to offer me the option to run another, but we just want to work with one for today. So at this point, it's asking me about what to do next. And we're going to keep going. And it's going to tell us to put the PCR plate in. So open up. Now the PCR plate needs to be loaded into position five. The next thing is PCR mix tubes. So this is the empty tube where it's going to mix together the amplification and probe reagents. It's going to tell me, yes, I need to reload that tube into position one. And click OK. Let's find out what's next. Next is the lysis reagent. You'll notice I've taken off all of the caps. You want to take those off before you put it in the instrument. That would be an expensive error. And also at this point, if you have grinding beads, you would add them right now. But we're not using them for this. So that goes into position A1. Easy so far. Click OK. What's next? Now our PCR reagents get added into this block. You'll see they get added into positions B, C, D, and E. The block is also labeled, as are the tubes. So it's really easy. B, C, D, and E. Excellent. What's next? The robot tells me that I now need to add my deep well plates, the sample plate, and the empty plate. And at this point, we close the robot. And we hit OK. And it starts. And that's a great time for me to go off and do some other experiments. See you guys in a bit. <sighs> back from lunch. Now it's ready to get back to work. Let's grab our samples. So everything's been done by the robot. And we're ready to put it into our thermal cycler. You can use the Biorad plate sealer at this point or optical caps. Pop it into the machine, you're going to close the lid and hit run. And that's it. You get your results, positive or negative. Well, that's all from me. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and email us labnotes at biorad.com if you have any tips you want to share. Bye for now.